the FlowerMate Pro, the V5 OS Pro to be specific. That is the newest version of the FlowerMate. It's got a digital display, which is beautiful, a ceramic chamber, isolated air path, and one massive battery life, actually. This thing has dual 18650s in it. From our testing, we tested it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we got 35 five-minute cycles, which is just under three hours, which I, I can't think of any vaporizer that comes close to that. That's just really, really good battery life. There we go. That's what it looks like with the water pipe adapter. Get those out of there. Let's get that next to the CFX real quick so you get a little idea of the size. Kind of your standard size vaporizer, not giant, not little. Let's put a PAX up there. What else can I fit on the screen? DaVinci IQ. Yeah, kind of an in-betweener. This guy and this guy, the CFX and the Flower Mate, both have two 18650s in there. So that's probably the closest comparison. The Flower Mate is much more compact in size. The reason the CFX is a lot bigger mainly is because it has a giant heating element in it. The Flower Mate is a little smaller, a little more efficient. Doesn't have those killer vapor hits like you get with the CFX, but the vapor production has always been pretty solid. So this being the newest version, you'll notice there's a few changes. First one, slide lid is black, buttons are black, blue and blue on the blue version. Compared to the original Pro, they all had a silver top and silver buttons. Just looks a little bit cleaner, you know, looks nice. You'll also notice on the original one, we had an AC adapter. The original Flower Mates took a, a, just a standard wall charger. Just recently, they switched over to a USB. Pretty awesome. I'm happy to see that. For a long time, they didn't want to move to USB. The main reason because it took too long to charge. AC adapters just did a better job of charging. That's not the case anymore. So the USB ones charge just as fast as old guys. Also, I'll use this one for... No, this one might look a little easier. I'm not sure if you can pick this up on the camera, but the thickness of the shell throughout time has gotten thicker. The main reason they did that is to make the slide lids fit a little bit better. Some of the original flower mates, the slide lids would just be really, really loose. This one fits fine, but we'd actually tell customers just squeeze the metal so the slide lid would fit better. That's, you know, you don't want to be telling people that. You'd rather it just work right out of the box. The original Flower Mate did not have isolated air pass. The second version to come out, uh, they addressed that. The forums were still talking for a while about airflow not being the best. Flower Mate went ahead and did a little micro update on that one. Looks like they did a little more changes this year around. Nothing major. Just, you know, air, air, some companies like to come out with a new vape every year. Flower Mate with the V5 series, they just kind of have done small increases in, in upgrades and just slowly making the product better. I think it's made a pretty cool vaporizer, personally. You also notice when you buy a black Flower Mate, you now get a smoke colored stem. Blue comes, comes with a clear one. I'm sure we'll have the black ones available for a, an accessory soon on our website. But it looks nice. It looks really neat. Let's leave that one up here. Guess we can leave that one up here too. So to turn it on, one, two, three, four, five. Five buttons to turn it on. Was mine on already? It was. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. <laughs> Let's try that with this one too. One, two, three, four, five. Getting too eager. Too much caffeine in the morning. So you can adjust your temperatures up and down. Set temp is on the bottom. Actual temperature is on the top. You got your battery life indicator. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at 400 degrees. Heat up time is under a minute. Really not bad. I'll put those right there. So you get your flower mate. Flower mate comes with the sexy box. You get your awesome USB charger. Warranty cards, instruction manuals. You know the stuff. You get a dry herb pod and a waxy pod. The waxy pods are cool. I wouldn't recommend using them all the time. Concentrates and herb vaporizers, they just get the vaporizer extremely dirty. So if you're in a bind and you need to hit some waxes, it's a good way to go. Um, the rest of you know, if you use waxes a lot, get a wax pen. It, it's just, it's more convenient. The herb pods, those are very cool. 
just drop a little herb in there. We go snowboarding a lot and skiing in this town, and that means you have gloves on. And so being able to quickly load bowls that are pre-packed in a few of these pods, it's convenient. It's a fun thing to do. Replacement lid, in case you ever bust your slide lid, which does happen. I see one, two, three bottom screens. Three and three, there we go, goes like that. Three top screens, three bottom screens. Your cleaning tool. Your brush. And your little velvet carrying bag. All nice stuff to have. That's the basic kit right there. Get that out of the way. Screens are going to take an hour to get off of here. Oh, not too long. Just to show off that bag real quick. Cool, huh? All right, back to my ribs. We still on? I'm going to cool it back down to 400. That's my preference. What I do? 